Hey guys, I'm your host, Nutra, and today we're going to make um, a little box. And I came out with this box a couple of nights ago because I wanted a match box style box, but I didn't want it to pull in and out, I wanted it to open. So um, this box it could go a long way. You see that one? Well, here, yeah, it's a pilot that I opened up. Okay. Or you can have it open on the side and have it like a, like a door or like this. Okay. So um, we're going to make it open like this for um, this top that I'm going to Um, The best way to keep your boxes you know, organize if, if you like making your own treat boxes and come up with your own ornaments. And I do. I have um, just a handful of the boxes that I've made up. You want to make a template, okay? So this template has scratches all over it because I have to redo it all the time. But this is uh, the template. Um, you can make one box with eight and a half by eleven pieces of cardstock, okay? So for your first piece, you need to cut it. Six and a half inches long by three and five eighths of an inch. Yeah, six and a half inches long by three and five eighths inches. Okay, and you're going to score. Put your hammer score line. You're going to score at one inch, one and three eighths. No, one inch, three and one eighth, four and one eighth. One inch, okay. Three and one eighth inch, four and one inch, and then six and a quarter, okay. And the six and a quarter inch is going to be is going to leave you this itty bitty tab here, okay. For the base of your cloth, you're going to need a piece of cardstock that measures three and seven eighths by six and five eighths. Okay. On these two sides here, you're going to score at one and a half inch, and then along the top and the bottom, you're going to score at one inch. Okay, and then you're going to cut these tabs here. Okay, don't cut this way. No, that's not. You're going to cut these three, these two tabs here. They're going to have three short tabs. And we're going to go ahead and fold up the base of the box. I'm going to use hot glue because that's the quick and strong adhesive that I have. Um, I know a lot of you guys use sticky strip, but I've never bought sticky strip. Um, just because I've never thought about it, I've always thought, okay, glue gun will work. So. But my glue gun always works for me, it works efficiently. So I'm not going to have to worry about it coming apart. After you fold these up, you're going to have this little tab here. You can cut that off if you want. I'm not going to. I'm just going to fold it in. And what that's going to give me is a clean edge. Okay? And that's going to be that top there. Fold it in. Glue it in the edge. I'm going to go ahead and do the other side. Some stem white piece of paper here that's where my camera view is. Hope you guys can see everything I'm doing. And this box is really simple to make. It's very quick once you get the measurements down. You can whip them out in no time. So here's the box. This is pretty sure ink cardstock, by the way, so it's super thick. Um, Okay, now for this top part, this is how the box is um, actually going to work. 
Okay, this is going to be the bottom. This little tab here, you're going to adhere this. And then um, your box is just going to fold over like this. And you're going to have a little bit of room, which is, I don't understand why there's so much in there. But, um, my stuff is going to open up. So let's go ahead and decorate it. Um, this piece, I forgot what these measures are. Let me see. Just measure the inseam of this. I think it's three and five eighths by, by two inches. Okay? So we'll just So it will be good for scrap like that. And the only thing the pan paper is from a scrap. Scrap on the bottom. And you can decorate this, you guys, any way you want. I mean, let your imagination go. You can, and you can also fill them with anything. There's a little rose that I made. Um, my friend Melody sent me um, this Tim Holtz die cut of his rosette, um, his rosette strip or whatever, and um, she cut it in the in the vintage paper bag, and it's so cute. But what I did with this one is I cut it in half. That made it smaller. And same thing with this. Made it really small. But then I'm going to go ahead and adhere our box on the inside. Center it. If you want to, you could put the pattern paper all around there and decorate it. It's, it's up to you. And you can also adhere this part to that part. I'm not going to do that for this part. Um, so, you know what? I'll go ahead and do it. I'm just going to need a piece of brown on it. Let's see where I can do this. And then for the coating, I'm just going to use some ribbon. Try to fold. If you're giving this, I will leave the tails pretty long, just so the person can repose it. And then um, when I'm going to scoop this over and add a little pot glue here. Slide my ribbon back into the glue. That just keeps it in place. So there's your box. So cute. You can like so you can throw anything in these you guys. Uh, candy, you could roll up some money and tie a little piece of um, twine around it or something like that. That would be really cute. And um, put it in the inside. You can add a little note. So here's this one that can be you know, long and then here's these. Okay. Let's see. So you need help. Um, with the measurements, leave me a comment, okay?
And don't forget to make your template. That will help you out when you want to, um, uh, re you know, make more. Okay, the next box I'm going to show you guys, um, maybe not today, but as soon as I'm going to do the um, soap box, a uh, soap box tutorial for you. Let me show you that box again. This is um, the soap box. Remember I showed you guys this box? Yeah, we're going to decorate this next. And then um, we're going to do a tin can. Now this is loads of fun. And when I say it was so fun, I really mean that it was fun. Like I couldn't stop working on it because I wanted to keep going to see what it what it and what it would end up. And we're gonna make this box, okay? So those are my next few tutorials for you guys. I hope you enjoyed the box. I'm gonna go now and I'll see you guys later. Bye.